All right, guys, are we ready to go check out some mice? Let's go. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Good morning guys, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. And this is a follow up to my mouse trap. So I'm just outside of my garage here. We're gonna go in here and go check and see how well we did. So I'm in my over cluttered garage here and uh, we moved a, <laughs> the bucket from here to there. And let's see if we caught any mice. Let's take a look. Going in here, coming along here, and look at that. We caught ourselves two mice today on this little roller. And uh, quite pleased. Now, the big question is, for a shameless plug, by the way, how do I get those mice out of there without dumping the whole thing and go through the whole rigmarole? Well, that's where... My Ranger Rob poopy bags come in. I know, shameless plug, but they work great. All I do is grab a Ranger Rob poopy bag, reach in there, grab the mice, turn it inside out, put them in the garbage. <clears throat> so uh, it's just that easy. <laughs> so if you're gonna have a mouse trap like that, get yourself some Ranger Rob poopy bags on Amazon. <clears throat> Keep them in your back pocket. You can empty your traps anytime you want and sanitary. All right, guys, let's move on. <clears throat> so there you go. Got my mice. Didn't have to touch them. Just grabbed them. Turned the bag inside out. Done deal. So, uh, like I said, guys, those Ranger Rob poopy bags come in handy for all kinds of stuff. All right, staying with the theme of uh, war and mice, we have one more dilemma. Is when they had this house before us, uh, they put a cable system in for Dish Network. And uh, so it looks like they ran their cords down here at the vent well cover and have an opening here. And as you can see, the mice have been getting in here and he used uh, foam uh, foam to plug the hole and all they do is chew through the foam and, and uh, they're getting in so sure he replugged it with the foam that was there and you can see that they're it's like a little freeway so we're going to solve that problem with this we're going to use the foam mouse shield and steel wool and fill in that gap and uh, some this stuff sometimes is kind of messy to work with it doesn't <laughs> it has its own attitude but it works well I used it in our RV so we're gonna plug this hole uh, with steel wool and the, the mouse foam shield they call it so let's get going Well, we got it all sealed up. I used the steel wool all around the wires. And if you noticed, I tried to get the foam to go through the steel wool and through the vent so it really adheres to it. But uh, I'll tell you one thing for sure, mice do not like to chill, <laughs> chew through the uh, steel wool. So hopefully we've stopped one source of mice getting in under the house. So. Uh, that's off the checklist.
So meanwhile, while we're doing things for the house here, we also have an aquarium. I don't know if I've ever shown this to you. This is our aquarium. It's kind of dark in here. But uh, there's some beautiful angels. So what are, uh, what are some of the fish that you have in here? You have angel fish. Remember mm -hmm. the names? I can never remember the names. Remember the names. Yeah, there's a couple right there. But the most important thing is we had to go to town to take care of errands and get some parts for the truck and stuff. And we decided to stop and find some new fish. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the names of your new fish? Yeah, sure, that receipt. Uh, so, uh, there's our new fish up there. All the new old fish are saying hello. And uh, so we got one. Uh, Rosalind Shark. Rosalind Shark. And I already have one in the tank, so this is a new one. Yeah. And I got six Rummy Nose Tetris. That's these little guys over here. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> this is a. Uh, Acclimating them to the water temperatures. <laughs> yeah, they're just getting ready, to, uh, getting used to the temperature of our tank. This is a 55 gallon tank. Uh, we've had it for quite a while. We had it in Arizona. The sad thing is that when we moved up here, we had to give all of our fish back to the aquarium, which they resold them. But we really had some beautiful angels. So we had to start from scratch again. And uh, our new tank's coming out really, really nice. So anyway, there you go, guys, our aquarium. So as we mentioned earlier, we just got back from uh, the big city of Bend. And uh, you want to call it that. And we had to pick up a few miscellaneous things. Definitely needed to get more safety glasses around here. And uh, can never have enough super glue. And uh, I keep adding to my tanks here. I got this at uh, Harbor Freight, 19 bucks. And uh, what else we got in here? Um, I also stopped by uh, <coughs> by Mart because you know I'm making all these mouse traps. So I'm making two more. So uh, for $2.69 a piece, I grabbed four new buckets, bought some new blue jeans, <laughs> and uh, more staples for my staple gun. And uh, most of all, I got a new uh, uh, piece for my truck here, my handle. Uh, this one's totally shot. And I also ordered a new light for the back of my truck here. And, uh, of course, we're in Bend, so I had to order it. So, Oh, well, well let's get to work. I, gotta get this, uh, I can't open my uh, tailgate till I fix this thing, so let's open it up. So this is the inside of my uh, tailgate here. It's actually a very simple mechanism. I uh, just got to take a few screws out and then what's broken is actually the handle back here that you see from the outside. So let's get that off, pull that off and then uh, the other thing is there's a, a keyhole pin I need to take out so I can put the old key to the, the lock in the truck so I don't have to replace it with a new one. So let's get that going. Alright, so this is our old one, and then the handle down here, you can see that it's been cracked and broken, as opposed to the new one, who's nice and solid. So we got to replace this uh, lock right here. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I've never done it before, but you just got to pull a pin and put the, new one, the old one back in. So let's get that done first. Oh, that was easy. like that so there we go all set so now we just got to put it back up inside the truck and place it under here in the lever and the a bit. here's the lever right here and uh, we just bring it up from the back
Okay, we got this thing in. Now we're just going to shut it and see if we can open it again, make sure the lock's working. And if so, we're good to go. Well, that was pretty simple. Got her fixed, going to bolt it down and we're ready to go. And I can get in the back of my truck again. to do now is put my rug back it's all velcroed in and uh, these rugs are nice except when you're hauling hay then you then you get hay caught in it but uh all right let's check it one more time looks good hey done deal so there she is all new <sighs> well that's one one chore done Let's get back to work. If you're wondering why I bought all that glue, it's these old guys. They come loose a lot. So I gotta go up here and glue that back on. I'm just gonna use some uh, super glue and uh, it'll last for a couple years and I'll have to do it again. But uh, you can never have enough super glue. Well guys, we got all my little projects done today. Didn't get around to putting the DeWalt up on a new table. Uh, the drop down saw, I'll try to do that in the next video. Uh, in the meantime, I did get the back of the truck fixed, got the little uh, rain guard re-glued, put away a bunch of things. Uh, by the way, I was at Bymar, I was able to get blue jeans for 15 bucks a piece. Hey, when you're working in a place like this, the last thing you want is expensive jeans. Uh, until you get into the cold, cold weather. And never forget to always keep your... Uh, now these uh, chunky deal relish around. You never know. <laughs> Actually, at Bymart, you can get this kind of stuff really cheap. And if you have a Bymart in the area you live, great place to get prep supplies. Uh, I like to make my own tartar sauce, so I use Japanese mustard in this stuff. And it uh, makes really good tartar sauce. Okay, enough. Gotta go. Guys, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to su <laughs> subscribe. Share our videos like our videos, and uh, share it to your governor. Yeah, don't like it. Sorry, my guys. <laughs> Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.